Hi, this is Florian with another stop of Tour de Animate. Sprite sheets are a great way to bring animated sequences into Adobe Animate CC, which were originally created in another application, such as Adobe After Effects, for example. But what if I don't have single files of my animation sprites, but so-called sprite sheets with the frames already placed in a grid? Well, there is not a simple one-click import solution, but in this recipe, you will learn how to import and set up these kinds of sprite sheets in Animate CC. So let's jump into the browser and have a look at the final result first. So as we can see here, we have our character called Thomas, um, who has uh, blinking eyes and uh, who starts to talk here and has this gesture that he does with his arms and the jacket is also moving slightly when he does that. And uh, when taking a look at the first part of this sprite sheet here, we can see that it contains six frames of the blinking animation and uh, it is numbered in a reading kind of fashion from left to right uh, with two columns and uh, three rows in total. So this is the way the sprite sheet looks before we uh, import it into um, Adobe Animate CC. So let's jump into Animate CC and take a look at how the project has been set up. Here we can see the character already placed uh, in the stage. And if we double click into this symbol, uh, we can see how the animation has been set up. So the first part that we saw in the browser as well is the blinking. And we can see that we use a mask to um, get the sprite sheets to work. So if we unlock the mask layers here, um, we can see what it looks like without the mask taking effect. So we have this mask, which is um, a rectangular shape. And if we hide it, we can see that it blocks out the exact dimensions of one of the character sprites. And when we then scrub through the timeline, we can see that we use simple position keyframes depending on the dimensions of the sprite sheet itself and the number of columns and rows to reposition uh, the whole sprite sheet without the use of tweens so that it's just um, A to B to C and so on uh, position values. And um, when then making the mask visible again, we can see that when scrubbing through the timeline, uh, there is only one part of the sprite sheet visible through the use of this mask. So when locking the mask layers again, we can see that the mask takes effect and when scrubbing through it, we can see that the animation works and we don't see the rest of the sprite sheet anymore. And the same technique uh, can be applied to the other parts and other sprite sheets that are part of this project file as well. And they can be set up in the same uh, kind of way. If we unlock the masks here, we can see uh, how the other sprite sheet has been animated in the same way. And if we lock it again, we can see that it works seamlessly. So as you can see, there is a simple way to get grid sprite sheets to animate in Animate CC. And this offers you even more possibilities of creating and enhancing animation. You can of course combine these techniques with other character animation techniques to create unique and individual looks. So feel free to experiment. And also make sure to check out all the other free samples on tourdeanimate.com as well. All of them, including this one, are free to download and reuse, even in commercial projects. So have fun with this recipe and happy animating.